In his fascinating study of violence, the psychiatrist James Gilligan interviewed hundreds of violent criminals in American prisons and found that the single most powerful reason they turned to violence was because they felt shamed, humiliated, or disrespected as men. The more time I spent with him, Gilligan writes about one of the hundreds of violent criminals he has interviewed over the course of his research, the clearer it became that his character served as a defense against the threat of being treated with scorn and disrespect, of being perceived as a weakling, not a real man, someone who could be laughed at. We may not hear about it much in mainstream coverage of violence, but again and again we've seen exactly this dynamic, young men using violence to overcome the shame of not being seen and respected as real men. 16-year-old Luke Woodham entered the Commons area of Pearl High and fired off several shots. Woodham opened fire at Pearl High School, killing two students. Consider Luke Woodham, who carried out a school shooting in Pearl, Mississippi in the late 1990s. Woodham wrote a letter before he went on his rampage explaining himself this way, I am not insane, I am angry. I killed because people like me are mistreated every day. All throughout my life, I was ridiculed, always beaten, always hated. If I can't do it through pacifism, if I can't show you through the displaying of intelligence, then I will do it with a bullet. Murder is not weak and slow-witted. Murder is gutsy and daring. All you hear is like firecrackers, and then I looked out the window, and there's a kid with a trench coat and a shotgun throwing pipe bombs in the parking lot. The Columbine killers, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, left behind written diaries that provide insight into how their murder of 12 classmates and a teacher was part of a conscious strategy to settle scores. In his journal, Klebold writes that he and Harris will take revenge on society. And toward the end of his own journal, Harris writes, everyone is always making fun of me because of how I look, how weak I am. Well, I will get you all back. I hate people, and they better fear me if they know what's good for them. It's been widely reported school shooter Adam Lanza suffered some kind of personality disorder. The Sandy Hook Elementary school shooter Adam Lanza may have been mentally ill, but he played out a familiar script. He was bullied severely, brutally bullied, when he was in elementary school at Sandy Hook. By all accounts, he was an aggrieved, angry, and likely self-hating young man who absorbed all the wrong lessons about what it means to be a tough, strong man from the world around him. Just take a look at the ad campaign the Bushmaster Firearms Company ran prior to the Newtown Massacre for the very AR-15-style semi-automatic rifle Lanza used during his killing spree. 